Now let's see the substitution method in brief by taking an example problem. So initially, let me take the two lines, say my line L1, which I consider as 2x minus y minus 5 equal to 0, and my line L2, which I consider as 3x plus 2y minus 11 equal to 0. Then I wanted to find the intersection or the solution of the two lines L1 and L2 that is indirectly I want to find the values of x and y using the substitution method. So let's see how substitution method can be used. So initially to start with I take each of the lines separately. My line L1 which is 2x minus y minus 5 equal to 0 and my next line L2 is 3x plus 2y minus 11 equal to 0. Now the substitution method says that we need to substitute one of the variable in the other. In, we have to bring in one variable into other variable form and then substitute in one of the equation. Say for example, I take this being coefficient of y being 1, I always find this to be easier. Therefore, I'll bring this to the right. So I get this as y equals 2x minus 5. So in substitution method, I always suggest choose that value to be substituted which has coefficient as 1, which will always be easier. Now because the coefficient of y is 1, this is the most suitable variable which can be substituted in the other equation, making the simplification easier. This is the rule which one must follow in substitution method. So when I take y as 2x minus 5, then this is 3x plus 2y minus 11 equal to 0. Then I substitute y equal to 2x minus y 5 in place of this y of the next equation. So the y which is extracted from the first line is substituted in the second line in place of that. Hence, this method is called substitution because we are simply substituting one of the value into the other equation. So in this case, 3x plus 2 times of y, which is nothing but this, minus 11 is equal to 0. So this is how I get by substituting one of them in the other equation. Therefore, this on simplification further gives me 3x plus 2 times of 2, which is 4x, minus 2 times of 5 which is minus 10 minus 11 equals 0. Then finally, this would be 3x plus 4x, which is 7x minus 21 equals 0. Therefore, taking all x terms one side and all the constants to the other side, I get x is 21 over 7, this coming down. For the 7 ones, 7 threes. Therefore, I got x equal to 3 is the value of x. Now once I substitute this x in this, I get y. Therefore substituting in this equation, therefore my y which is 2x minus 5 will just get substituted with x equals 3 and then I get 2 times of 3 minus 5, 6 minus 5 which is 1, therefore y equal to 1. So x equal to 3 and y equal to 1 are the solutions of the given lines L1 and L2 using the substitution method. A substitution method which is done in this following manner. Now let's see the elimination method which can be used for the example problem which I consider. And we'll see the rules involved in the elimination method used to find the values of x and y, the solutions of the linear equations in two variables x and y. To start with an example problem, let me take the line 1 as 3x plus 2y equals minus 11 equals 0 and my line L2 which equals 2x plus 3y minus 4 equal to 0. Now these are the two lines for which I would like to find the solution using, of course, the elimination method. 
So in elimination method, I try to take all constants to the right so that my line L1 gets reduced to 3x plus 2y equals 11 and 2x plus 3y equals 4 as from L1 and L2 respectively. Then I use one line over the other. The next step what I include is I take one equation over the other. So first equation is this which I have taken then the next equation I take over this. Now as I see the first rule the, the most important rule in the elimination method is that the values of either x or y that is the coefficients of x or y must be made to be same. Now as I see here the coefficient of x is 3 and the coefficient of x is 2 which are not equal to each other. Similarly when I take the coefficient of y as 2 and coefficient of y as 3 are also not equal. Therefore our attempt is to make the coefficients equal of either x or y. The choice is with the student. So let me try to make the coefficients of y as equal as can be seen here. So to make the coefficients of y equal what I do is I multiply this equation with this and here I multiply with this times of 2. So the rule is we can make the two coefficients equal either of x or y if I multiply this to the first equation and this to the second equation finally we get a common term either for x or y which we are going to target. Now my target here is y therefore I have multiplied 2 to the second equation and 3 to the first equation is how I do. Similarly when I want to make x equal I multiply 3 to the second equation and 2 to the first equation and then make x terms equal or the coefficients of x equal. Now because my target here is to make the coefficients of y equal I multiplied this 3 here and this 2 out here simultaneously alternately for one over the other. Now this when multiplied gives me 3 times of 3 which is 9x plus 3 times of 2 which is 6y is 3 times of 11 which is 33. So I have multiplied the constant 3 to the entire equation 1. So this forms equation 1. Similarly I have multiplied 2 to the entire equation second equation. So 2 times of 2x is 4x plus 2 times of 3y is 6y is 2 times of 4 equal to 8 which is second equation. As you can see here clearly with the two equations I have made this equal is what is the destination. To make this equal I have multiplied simultaneously and this is the most important step in elimination method. Making one of the coefficients equal is a must for eliminating and finding the values of x and y. So once I make the coefficients of y as equal then immediately I just subtract because both plus if I subtract they get cancelled. So this becomes minus, this becomes minus, this becomes minus. All the signs become opposite and then the subtraction gives me this as 0 because 6y minus 6y is 0 and 9x minus 4x is 5x. 33 minus 8 is 25 is what I get in the elimination process. The intention of making the coefficients equal is now clearly understood because once I make the coefficients equal when I subtract they get cancelled and I get only one variable. This reduces to a linear equation in one variable x which is easy to be found using the constant method by taking the constants to the right and variables to the left. It's easy for finding the solution for linear equation in one variable. Therefore when I proceed to the next step 5x equal to 25 implies x is 25 over 5 which is 5. Therefore the value of x is equal to 5. So that implies my x is 5. Now once I got the value of x, I'm going to find the value of y by substituting in one of the lines, this or this. So as I identify, I observe one thing that my substitution of x in which equation would be easier is what I identify when I substitute. So always choose that equation which has simpler values 
but do not choose an equation which has more larger values because the simplification is time consuming. Therefore, I take the easiest of these two equations which I identify as here because this seems to be looking quite easier. So, I substitute in that equation which looks smaller. So, here the equation is 2x plus 3y equal to 4 where I substitute the value of x equal to 5. So, when I substitute the value of x equal to 5 plus 3y equal to 4, then 2 5 is 10 plus 3y equals 4. Then this would be 4 minus 10 is minus 6. Therefore, y is minus 6 over 3. So, which clearly gives me negative 6 over 3 when 3 is brought to the right. Therefore, this would be 3 1 3 2 that implies y is minus 2 and x is 5 is how we find the values of x and y the solutions of linear equations by using the elimination method with all its rules out here.